Good evening and welcome to Cole UTV for another midweek show. Obviously goes without saying a disappointing result last night against Hartlepool. On tonight's show, we will be taking a look a look back at the goals from last night. Also, reaction from Wayne and birthday boy Noah Chilvers. Good to see him get on the score sheet once again. And also, with a massive, massive game for us against Oldham at the weekend, we'll take a look back at the game earlier on in the season, back at uh, up at Boundary Park. First of all, let's look at the goals from last night. So there's the goals from last night. Like I mentioned earlier, very disappointing. Everyone from the fans and everyone involved at, at the club. Uh, I guess a story of missed opportunities when we was in the lead once again and then ultimately paying the price for that and some uh, individual areas, errors along the way. Um, let's see what Wayne had to say after the game. Wayne, another frustrating evening. How do you start the defeat? Yeah, it was frustrating. We've made four changes this evening, um, four positive changes. Uh, we felt we was getting into good areas, especially in wide areas against Northampton, but wasn't really committing enough bodies into the box. Um, we picked a team to do just that, and and I thought they did. They they did get bodies into the box, which again, that's where the goals come from. Not only have we got the two strikers in there. Um, We've also got Noah in there backing the play up, Brendan in there backing the play up, and, and that was the whole point of the, the team selection. We knew that they were going to have possession, and as frustrating as it probably was to watch for the fans, we knew that that was going to be the case. But if you digested the game, we had the best two chances in the first half. Um, obviously, Coxie goes through one on one and hits the post, and we could be 2 0 up in a game of football. Um, it wasn't to be. Um, but even then in the second half, we knew that there was going to be spaces out there on the pitch, on transitions. And again, that proved the case. And we've got legs in O that causes teams problems. Um, you know, could he go down? Possibly, yes. Um, but does he need to go down if there's a foul that's, that's been made? He, he probably does have to go down in, in modern day to, to get anything from refs. Um, you know, we hit the post again early in the second half. Um, and, and obviously we we push him to the death um, for, for another chance with balls into the box. But, you know, I think if you digested the game and, and looked at the, the game as much as possession as they had, uh, we had definitely had the better chances. And it's just the way it's going for us in a minute. Yeah. And in that first half, both the best chances, the goal and <clears throat> Cameron hitting the post, John Akinde's involved. How did you feel he um, fared on his first game back and only been able to play 60 minutes? It was always going to be tough for John tonight with what he's been through, illness-wise. Um, 
you know, getting over COVID has been a real struggle for the big man. Um, but we knew when we brought him into the environment what he's going to give us. He's going to give us that presence. He's going to give us something we haven't got in the squad. And he's been a big miss for us whilst he's been out. Um, you know, we've we've not selected him Saturday to try and wrap him up and get the most out of him this evening that we could. Um, we thought we was probably only going to get 45 out of him and we've managed to get 60, which now would bode well for Saturday. He's got minutes under his belt, which he can now take on into Saturday's game and for the rest of the season. Um, so he's going to be a real important focal point for us in in what what is going to lie ahead for us, not just Saturday, but for the rest of the season. Yeah, yeah. Hardly pulled goals. Managers that, of the team that scored will say they were good goals and everything. You'll tell me, of course, that every goal is preventable. Has it been frustrating, not just today, but the last two or three games, the manner in which we've conceded the goals? Yeah, I mean, every goal is avoidable. Um, you know, mistakes are made, which lead to goals. Um, but in the position that we're in, we can't afford to make mistakes and we do need to be better in our own final third, in our own box. Um, we haven't been. Um, you know, I'll make no secret about that. Um, you know, you look at the Carlisle game, they have six opportunities to score goals and they score two through probably our, our bad play, our bad defending, call it what you will. Um, but at the moment, it's not about us digging people or units out. It's about us trying to find the right recipe. It's about us trying to find the recipe that we had at Salford, you know, Mansfield away, Orient away. Um, and the home games that we've had here, even against Swindon, nine men, you know, the grit and determination to stay in games. And as I said, listen, we pushed them to the to the last embers tonight um, and it wasn't to be and the lads will do it again. But what we do need to be better at is in both boxes. We need to be ruthless in theirs and we need to be ruthless in ours. That's what wins and loses your games of football. Um, and we need to find the right recipe. And that recipe is obviously uh, not got long to find it because obviously once again we're going Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So uh, is it going to be a case of you, Joe and Dave, having to pick the lads up or are they quite good as players themselves to know that they've got to take on board what went wrong tonight but be ready to go again on Saturday? Well, we're going to have to pick them, pick them up because obviously being at the bottom of the league and losing another home game is, is disappointing and it's going to be disappointing for them. So we're a young group. Um, we've got some experience in there and it's about the experienced lads, us staff getting around the group um, as a collective and and again, trying to, to pick them up and, and, and get the positivity into them again because there was again tonight. You know, I, I try and find positives in every game and listen, you've watched it, you've seen it, you've you've witnessed the, the chances that we've had um, that, that we've not been quite clinical enough to, 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 uh, to, to put home. Um, but, you know, we'll come strong Saturday. We'll pick a team that is going to go out to war because it's going to be a war Saturday. You know, you're playing against Oldham that are fighting for their, their lives as we are. And we're going to have to pick a team that, that are going to be stand, have to stand up and be counted. Wayne there, not mincing his words. And that's exactly what we need on Saturday. We need a big performance from all the lads and we need a win. Uh, good to see John uh, Kindy back last night. He gives us another dimension as to uh, how we can play and throughout the game, bringing other players in. I think we can all see that. So it's good to see him back. And also birthday boy, Noah Till was on his 21st birthday, scoring once again. I think that's his fourth goal of the season. And uh, let's hear what he had to say after the game. Noah, bittersweet night. You know, good for you personally, but... Unfortunately, a defeat for the side. Yes. Um, yeah, as you say, a bit of sweet. Obviously, first half coming in with a goal, one nil up, thinking, yeah, doing well. And then, I don't know, what was it, two goals in four, four or five minutes? It's just, it can't happen really. And it? yeah, it's disappointing. And in the change room after the game, the disappointment's obviously going to be there. But is there a determination that, you know, you get back to work on Thursday and, and kind of put this out of your mind without forgetting what we did wrong. Yeah, I think there has to be. Um, the game Saturday, I know we speak about Thursday, but it's all going to be geared towards the game Saturday and, and it's, it's a game where we, we have to win. Um, yeah, so we've, we've all got to be determined. We've all got to look at ourselves. Um, 
look at our performances from today, forget about it, but at the same time, like you say, look at the things we did we did what did well, the things we didn't do so well, and we need to yeah we need to react because Saturday is yeah it's a massive game. And we've spoken to Wayne already, and he said one of the things about the changes he made was to get more bodies in the box, you yeah. included, and that's kind of what you had to be doing to follow up uh, the shot. Yeah, and um, that was something that the gaffer spoke about um, after the game at the weekend, said we weren't getting enough bodies in the box, and that was what I was instructed to do. And um, obviously, luckily, it's dropped to me, and you can't really miss from there. But was playing with a striker like Jonathan Day a little bit different to what we've been used to for the first half of the season, but it does allow you to try and anticipate knock-ons and, and things that he uh, provides for the rest of the players. Yeah, definitely. John's obviously a, a big target man. We all know what he's about. So, um, yeah, it's a different style of style of play, really, when you play with, with big John up there because I'm gambling off of him winning flick-ons, little sets, things like that. And, uh, yeah, no, it definitely gives us a different different style. And how good was it for you to be back in the start at 11? You obviously had to be quite patient uh, with an injury and, of course, uh, the competition for places that we've got in that area. Yeah, no, it's been good. Um, it was, yeah, it was good to, to be back in, in the team and my aim was, you know, to, to score a goal. So, yeah, obviously it's been a difficult month or so just with just with injuries and I think even the month before that, COVID, things like that. So it's been a bit of stop-start over the last few months. But, yeah, it's, been, it's, it's good to be back in and hopefully I can, uh, yeah, Form and keep keep my place. Yeah, and obviously keeping your place even for a few weeks means yeah. lots of games because they come yeah. thick and fast. So that recovery from injury, you know, has to be full for you to get through all these games now. Yeah, definitely. I think towards the end of the game today, I was starting to get a bit a bit tired after obviously the the time I've had off, which is only natural, I think. But the amount of minutes I got on my belt today, yeah, will be standing in good stead for for the games over this busy period. Um, it's just about recovering and right and getting ready for the next few games. There you go, Noah there, and uh, quite rightly so with the words expressing, saying uh, as pleased as he was for scoring, it's not about individual success, it's about the team getting together, getting the points and getting a win if we can. Uh, Noah was on the score sheet when we played Oldham earlier on in the season once again, uh, so let's take a look at the highlights from that game. And we definitely need another three points against Oldham on Saturday. The lads definitely 100% need you behind them also for the game. If you haven't already got your tickets, uh, please do go to coleutickets.com and you can still get the tickets at an advanced rate. If you do want a message, maybe here on the show on Saturday, if you want to say hello to someone or welcome to someone or on the big screen also, 
for a match day. Do send anything in to us at media at colchesterunited.net. Harry Totten will be in the hot seat for Saturday's pre-match show. Until then, have a fantastic week. Whatever you're up to, do get behind the lads on Saturday. They definitely, definitely need your support, each and every one of you, and I know you'll come through with that. Till then, have a fantastic week, and it's goodbye for now.